Hello, so in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about L6. So you must be aware of L6 because we have discussed in our previous video about L6. So let us see some more things and let's get uh, deeper into this. Okay, so ELB L6, that means Elastic Load Balance with L6. So what are these? Let us focus. And uh, first is, suppose you have a target group associated and here is your application load balancer. So what does L check uh, do? So what is it's working so setting is basically health check protocol uh, and in health check protocol you will have the value which is http value and suppose protocol which is used to perform health checks and the port will be set default to 80 you can customize that port also health check path that part if you have uh, your own application then uh, basically it default value will be uh, selected as a slash but if you Want you can give the full path also the URL of that that path you can provide. I'll check timeout seconds is five seconds. Suppose this is a set default and uh, you can customize that uh, timing. And what it will do? Application load balancer will just consider the target group unhealthy if it takes more than five seconds to respond. Suppose if you have your value five, and then if that value crosses then your health check would be considered as failure, okay? Next is health check interval second. So suppose, uh, what is the uh, working of this health check interval seconds? Suppose it has a value 30. And when application load balancer sends that health check to the target, so that 30 in value basically decides the time intervals between the you can say uh, the duration of a uh, health check interval okay so it sets the duration that after 30 seconds only you will be sending another uh, health check or it has sends health check every 30 seconds healthy threshold count is three suppose uh, if it is set to three then you can also customize it but if it is set to three that is default value then you can consider the target healthy after three successful health checks. Suppose you have three successful health checks, then your target group would be considered or the target, whatever target is it is, it is EC2 instance or application load balancer or network load balancer, whatever it is. So that would be considered healthy only when it passes the values or the threshold count of healthy uh, threshold count which is in your health check okay that setting if it crosses the value of healthy threshold count then only it would be considered as successful health check next is suppose you have unhealthy threshold count what is that so uh before considering a target unhealthy that health check would be done five times suppose you have a value of five there then that health check would be done five times before considering a target as unhealthy okay so that unhealthy threshold count decides this target health status initial then registering the target if it says healthy then your target is healthy if it is unhealthy then your target isn't responding unused that means the target isn't registered yet you will have to register it draining as seen in our previous video we have a uh, like seeing that draining that means you are dis registering the targets unavailable that means health checks is disabled and next is if a target group contains only unhealthy targets elastic load balancer routes requests across its unhealthy targets okay it routes requests across its unhealthy targets not to that okay it will just go across it but not onto that unhealthy target okay uh, uh so that is what i wanted to tell you in this theory part let's move to the practical part suppose i am having my target group here in ec2 you will find that in the left hand side target groups if you have made any target groups you will find that i had made one target group named as tgt1 okay and i clicked it and now i'm editing its health check settings you will find it in the bottom part and health checks so suppose what is this health check check protocol this is http and https one is secured and another is http 
so i had my selected http so uh, with that i'll be moving only forward okay next is health check path, path so as discussed in the ppt so health check path you can give if you have your own uh, like default path if you want to perform health check on the root you can go with a slash or you can specify a custom path if preferable okay health check port is track port or override the port load balancer basically it uses like it, it checks the port which port you want override port or traffic port okay next is healthy threshold as discussed uh if you will select two here so lower threshold value makes your uh health check very quickly okay and it makes your target healthy very quickly suppose if you have two so after uh, completion of two health checks your target would be considered as healthy so if you want that my uh, target should be considered healthy very quickly so after two health checks it would be considered as healthy only and healthy if you want to increase it you can increase suppose because some because sometimes what happens uh, health checks might mm, fail because of some uh, unexplained reason or, or some some uh, like abnormal reasons so you, if you want to set it to 5 then after five health check failures only it would be considered as unhealthy before that it won't be considered unhealthy okay so what uh, it, it is basically its default value is 2 to 10 like its limit is 2 to 10, 10 not default value default value is 2 only limit is 2 to 10 you can set any of the values between 2 to 10 next is time off and mm, suppose if your target doesn't respond in 5 seconds then it would be said that your target has failed the health check okay. so you can set the time here interval basically the gap between uh, two successive uh, health checks is this okay your interval part next is success course so a ctp code uses uh, like when checking for a successful response from a target you can specify any value like 200 202 203 or whatever value you can give for example 200 to 299 any values you can give this is codes like if you had a successful response from a target it will show that okay 200 is the successful like uh, error 404 we see many times that 404 is a code basically uh, unsuccess code that okay you, your error is found and this is your code so success code you can uh, similarly you can set a success code there uh, suppose if 200 is showing there then you can like observe and you can say that yep my uh, check has been successfully done okay my target is healthy so that's what i wanted to tell you that's it for this lecture let's meet in our next lecture till then thank you